And we're going to be talking with two of the top educators, I think you might say, when it comes to uh, early childhood development and adolescent development. We're going to be talking about kids because it's so important that we give them every possible way to get a good head start at not only being good human beings and being smart, but being creative and being confident and being spiritual. Those are some other things we're going to talk about in just a second. But I also wanted to brag a little bit because we raised some money, myself and a group of other women. Uh, the Amarosa was involved and Kim Whitley was involved and Yvonne Stickley was involved and the author Zane. All of these wonderful women, Vanessa Williams, all of us came together and did the vagina monologues. Cabrini, I could keep going on and on about all these wonderful women. Um, and also Jessica J. Parker, lots of folks came together to raise money for uh, fighting violence against women and young girls. Uh, vagina monologues were done on V-Day all across the country. They're being done all this month. And it's a wonderful celebration. I had a great time really bonding with women. The one thing we all had in common, because we were all from different walks of life, there were African-American women, Native American women, Caucasian women, there were lesbians. All these women came together. And the one thing we all had in common was the experience of just being woman. And it was just a marvelous celebration of who we are. And all across the country, the vagina monologues are being conducted on college campuses and community theaters and in, in its churches and synagogues. But I got to tell you this, the, um, the controversy that was raging, uh, the, some people said, don't put that word up on the billboard, take that down. And I believe in Florida, they just had the monologues. And there were controversies on Catholic campuses about whether this should be done. If I, I suggest read it, it's just such, Eve Ensler has put together such a wonderful compilation. And I want to ask our educators, as we are going to bring in this, how do you talk to young girls about that? Uh, the, the the celebration of who we are, but yet still being sensitive that not everybody likes the V word up on billboards. So let me introduce our educators. Betsy Chase has been on our show before, and I just am so happy to have her back. She is, uh, if you've ever seen the documentary, uh, What the Bleep, it is just a, a wonderful uh, examination of a new way of thinking about making things happen in your life. And uh, she is a mom of a little daughter, and she is also working with childhood education in transformational children's media, you might call it. We're going to find out what that big phrase means. We're also going to talk to Dr. Barbara Poland today, and she joins us as a professor of child and adolescent development at California State University. She's also a psychotherapist, and she's a mom of two. So, Betsy and Barbara, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. You know, I was just, uh, as we teach our kids, and you know, they ask the darndest things, and they're always, you know, I, I know that uh, the questions and answers that come up and how we take that moment to really educate them. We, the vagina monologues, for instance, uh, caused a controversy, I believe, after a young girl said to her mom, what's a vagina monologue? And the mother responded by saying, you know, I think the theater ought to take that down off the, off the, bi off the billboard. My, my argument was if she's old enough to know how to read, she should know that she has one, or at least that should be an opportunity for a mom to talk. What do you as two major educators say when, when uh, I don't know if it's the talk about sex or it's the talk about being a girl, or how do you handle that when that question comes up? Well, I don't think you need to talk about sex. I think you need to talk about bodies. And what a perfect way to alienate a little girl from her own body by saying, I think they need to take that word down. Now, is this Dr. Barbara Poland? Yes, it is. Okay, you're the professor of child and adolescent development. Perfect. So go on now. Tell me, so this is not a talk about sex. This is a talk about bodies, and this is a perfect opportunity for a mom or dad to say what? Well, I would uh, the mother who said I think they need to take it down is saying there's something wrong with the word vagina, which means there's something wrong with her own little girl, and her own little girl and that mom have vaginas. Exactly. And how wonderful. And she couldn't have had that wonderful little girl if she didn't have a vagina. Exactly. You know what's funny is um, my daughter is two and a half, and, you know, she, we, since she was born, we've, we've had a big bathtub, and we, one of the ways that we get together as a family, because at the end of the day, Papa goes to work or Mama's been gone to work, and we get together and the, we have a family ritual. We have a family bath together. Really? Yeah. We all get together. We have dinner together. We play for a while together, and we all jump in the bathtub and have a family bath. And as soon as Ella, my daughter, was sort of old enough to speak, 
one of the first words she learned were penis and vagina. Mm-hmm. And, it, it, you know, I didn't really think about it because Papa has a penis, Mama has a vagina. Ella, you have a vagina. Oh, I'm like Mommy. I have a vagina. And we were at a party, um, a sort of an Easter celebration, and she walked up to this woman and she said, you have a vagina. <laughs> and, the, and the woman looked at her and she said, you're absolutely right, I do. And I, I've never... I, I didn't. I, I would never want her to be anything other than understand. I'm proud. I have a vagina. I'm a woman, and that was her first understanding of I'm a girl. Mm-hmm. I'm a girl. I have a vagina, and it, it just sort of was sort of almost this cool word that she could use, and that she understood that that was something that she had, and it was and it was an empowering moment for her. Absolutely, because she she could recognize that, and it was it was part of who she was, and and I think that's. Part of what you know, Barbara and I are here to talk about is is empowering children to know who they are, love who they are, respect who they are, because in turn they can give that out to other people. See, I knew I brought the right women in here today. I, we're going to continue this conversation, and that's just what I'm talking about. See, well, that's what the vagina monologues do, and uh, we're going to talk about other ways to educate our boys and girls and make them wonderful human beings when they grow up on the Rwanda Show.